When it comes to collecting and painting Warhammer, I know how daunting and overwhelming it can be. But I want to show you a better way to Warhammer. I'll be talking about what things we can buy to make it more affordable, how we can approach building and painting, and I also want to talk about what it is that motivates us in the hobby. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have the confidence and knowledge to enjoy the hobby in a way that works best for you. Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael, and in this video I want to show you what I think is a great way to approach collecting and painting in the Warhammer hobby. I've already made a video on what I think is the best way to get started in the hobby and painting your first miniatures. It's a great beginner video that explores a lot about how we build and paint miniatures and some of the ideas and techniques used. Now I want to show you what to do next and help you approach the hobby in a more sensible way so we can continue to enjoy the Warhammer hobby and not become so overwhelmed we give up. There's a lot to think about when we're deciding what it is we want to buy and how we want to collect and paint an army to use in games. But there are some things we can do to make the hobby more accessible and affordable. But before we do that, I do want to thank the channel members and patrons who very generously support Tabletop Ready and make these tutorials possible. And if you want to support the channel and the content I make, you can give the videos a like and leave me a comment. I really love hearing about your own hobby. Whether you're new to the hobby or about to start a new project, we want to decide what faction we want to start collecting. For me, the best place to start is purchasing one of the Combat Patrol boxes or Spearhead boxes. These boxes all have a good variety of miniatures in them, which are more cost effective to buy this way than if we had bought them separately. These boxes also provide a great way to start playing games, as you'll find all the rules for these boxes and the core rules available for free on the Warhammer community website, along with guides and reference sheets you'll find useful when learning how to play. When it comes to deciding what faction it is you want to start collecting, I always say choose the faction you like the look of and I'm most excited about. And try not to let other people decide for you, because at the end of the day it's you who's going to be investing your time building, painting and collecting these miniatures. If you're still unsure, a great place to start are the starter boxes, and you get a complete introductory experience with loads of incredible models, a battlefield to fight over, helpful guides and all the dice, tools and the rules you need to play your first games. Something else that can influence our decision is the lore and background, so I would spend some time learning about all the different factions, characters and stories behind the miniatures. Personally, I love painting and collecting any kind of orcs and goblins. They've got so much character and they always have the most interesting miniatures to paint. I also like to get up and close and personal, engaging the enemy in close combat rather than at range and this is made even more epic when you're able to overwhelm your opponent with the amount of orcs you can bring to a battle. Once you've decided what faction it is you want to start collecting, it's time to start building and painting, which we can also do in a more cost effective way. I would always approach any project with a plan and decide what it is we're actually going to need, and what we need doesn't have to cost a lot of money either. We can start with some tools that are more affordable for us that do the job, especially if we're starting out and then we can invest in better quality versions of these tools later as we become more competent with them and that we use regularly. If you want to learn more about how to get your miniatures ready for painting so you can decide what you want to buy, then I have a tutorial on the channel that can help. A huge part of the hobby is painting your miniatures and for that you are going to need paints. But don't worry, even getting paints can be done in a more manageable way. Believe it or not, you don't need to buy every paint that's available. I don't even have every paint, and I do a lot of painting. It's better to only buy the paints we know we're going to need, and even then we don't need to buy all of them straight away. We can actually get started only painting the base colours on our miniatures. In fact, I find this a great way to paint miniatures if you're new and learning how to paint. And using miniatures in a game that just have base colours still looks better than using unpainted miniatures as well. Here on Tabletop Ready, I personally do like to use a sit down range of paints, but there are obviously other ranges of paints available. Just make sure to do your research and maybe try out a pot or two before you commit. But always make sure you're only ever using what works best for you. When you're ready and feel like you want to invest in more paint, we can decide what we need for the next step on our miniatures. 
maybe we want to create definition using a shade, or we may be ready to do some highlights. Whatever it is, working this way means we can build our selection of paints as we need them and we're only getting the paints we need. Over time you'll have all the paint you need to finish painting your miniatures, and if you want to get even more miniatures, you know you already have all the paints to finish those as well. I want to finish up talking about what motivates you and what gets you excited about hobbying because it's this that's going to inform most of your decisions and what you're going to be spending most of your time doing. If you're someone who prefers the painting side of the hobby then we're going to get the most out of painting miniatures we really want to paint. Maybe you're someone who really enjoys playing games and collecting competitive armies. If that's the case then your focus is going to be more about the rules units have. What if you're someone who enjoys the Warhammer lore and setting? The miniatures you buy may be related to a story or have an interesting background. There's lots of ways to enjoy the hobby and it's a good idea to actually think about what's important to you. It's your hobby experience and it's you who decides what that looks like regardless of what other people think or say. But that also means you need to respect other people's experience and how they like to enjoy the hobby. And some people who really help me with my hobby and encourage the things I do are Rita Gilbert, Azure Sasori, Ian Jones, America Kangaroo and Halleck who have recently become supporters or has donated to the channel. Thank you so much. And if you want to support the channel as well and the content I make then you can do that by becoming a channel member or joining the Patreon. Both give you early access to tutorials and you'll be kept up to date with what I'm doing behind the scenes. The last thing I really want to talk about is comparing ourselves to others or even thinking we're not good enough and the expectations we put on ourselves. We need to remember that everybody learns at a different pace and we shouldn't put so much pressure on ourselves. This is meant to be a hobby so let's take our time and enjoy the experience. Now we've gone through some of the things to help you on your journey, hopefully we've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to enjoy the Warhammer hobby in a way that works best for you. I've got plenty of other guides and tutorials here on Tabletop Ready to help you with your own hobby, so make sure and go and check those out as well. I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you find them useful. If you do then please let me know by liking the video and leaving a comment. As well make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.